in the house to take on number seven Mississippi State for dogs versus dogs action. Chloe Bibby, she said earlier this week she wanted to correct what was wrong with her jumper. Her shots weren't falling. That wasn't the problem Thursday night. The triple gets the Bulldogs on the board early with a lead. Georgia will respond though. Kalia Robinson with the lane for two. Mississippi State still up by four. Jordan Bam Danbury though, beautiful feed inside to Anriel Howard who finishes for two. Chloe Bibby was the catalyst on offense in the first half for the dogs. Off the inbound, short corner jumper goes. She make, I think, her first five shots in this one, three of those being threes. But here comes Georgia. Kay Morrison, ball fake, drives, gets the short corner jumper to go on Bibby. So trading back and forth. But here's Bibby coming up with the big defensive stop. Anriel Howard out in transition. She's going to find Jordan Danbury. He's going to clear the lane and just take it in all for herself. Takes the contact, no call, but she'll take the bucket anyway. Dogs looking good early on, but Bib all thanks to Bibby facilitating. Nice entry pass to Tierra McCowan for two. And Bibby, top of the key, triple, nothing but nylon. She'd have 17 first half points. Some beautiful transition buckets here for Mississippi State. Andre Espinosa hung a beautiful feed to Bibby inside for two. And then Enriel Hauer fighting her way in the first half for buckets. Takes the contact. Doesn't matter. She gets the bucket to fall. Looks good for the dogs, right? Until the third quarter where Georgia takes a one-point lead. But in the fourth, another patented, patented bulldog run. Jazz Holmes just showing off with the runner there. That would cap off a 9-0 Mississippi State run late as the Bulldogs survive. The Mississippi State Bulldogs survive 80 to 71 over Georgia. The Bulldogs now 15 and 1 on the season.